The post block is a great way of displaying your posts on your front end on any page, not an archive page. Well, you could probably include it on a template for an archive page, but it's a great add-on to even your front homepage or any other page where you need to bring in some of your posts, either all your posts or some by categories. Let's have a look at the standard post block. And the reason I say standard post block is because there's another post block from BD Themes Element Pack. We'll look at that in another video. Let's jump into our Elementor and let's go look for that standard, uh, if I can spell it again. Oh, let's just type in post block. I gave it the name standard. You will see the two that I mentioned, post block and then post block modern. We want to be traditional. So we grab the post block there. Immediately, it's going to drag the posts from my post section. Let's see a little bit what's going on here. We are working with three skins or three layouts that you can apply here to this post grid. Starting off with the one skin called default, I like this, and then the featured item. These are the big ones. I'm going to put that on one. And then I want to increase the amount of posts on this side. Go to list layout and no, query. That's where we want to go. And I'm going to put this on six. Now, one of the things that you have to remember when working with posts and always I tend to neglect this part or I tend to think it's not a big deal until I get into the page and then it annoys me. And that is if you want everything to align perfectly, you need to make sure that your featured image for each and every post is the same ratio and same resolution. Mine are not. So you will see this one is a portrait uh, level. So you've got this huge post hanging out here. But if I were to go into my categories and I choose something just like Africa here, you will see now I've got a landscape, so it goes down. If I keep all of them the same aspect ratio with the same resolution, then you will not have shifts, space shifts on your page. But I don't have that. So just take that into consideration that when you do work with posts and you are a little bit finicky over these things like I am, keep your featured images at the same ratio and resolution. Let's look more at what this can do for us. We have here our featured image, and then we have the title over here, our date, and then we have an excerpt if you want to use that. I find that the excerpt does not do anything for me. It says excerpt length. If I type five, nothing happens. If I type 20, there is no change. And I think I'm just going to switch it off. Take it away, boys. And then you can have a read more over here. So let's leave the read more. Let's give it an icon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's an arrow. Let's say read more over here. And we put it after. And you can also give that icon a little bit spacing. We will style that very soon. Hop over then to the list layout. And here you can again have the title. You have the date already and you can add the category if you wanted to. Then you will see there's our main category, Europe, Europe, Africa, Africa. And then you have your subcategories and also the divider. You can switch that off if you were thinking about doing that. Let's leave the divider on and then we can increase and decrease the space between these other posts that we've brought in. I'm going to leave it there and then in query, this is where you're going to decide which ones you want to bring in. Now, seeing this is a site for beginners, even though these tutorials are more or less level three, not the level one, I just want to say whenever you see the weird query, you may start, oh, what's a query? It's a filter. It, it's more, it's nothing else than a filter. It's just at this point you decide, do I want all my posts or if I click in categories, do I only want the ones from Europe? And that's a filter. I've just applied that filter. So I've got two posts here, both from Paris. And I can also say I only want those ones from Cape Town. And this is what a query is. It's a filter. Even for the tags, if you want to use tags instead, you can click on travel. And I guess they're all travel. And there you go. Right. And that's it. So don't let the word query scare you off. It often scares me off. 
but this is where you can just apply filters which you have to set up when you are writing your post and then down here you can determine your post limit and how you're going to order it by date or title or category right date is the normal one that we choose and you can also order them from new to old or from old to new i think this is standard that's where we like it let's go style it a little bit i'm going into the style and i'll start here with the list layout style the one here on the right and i want to increase my images first i think the image is a little larger or quite larger makes the page look good okay there we go and now if you want to go back to that divider which is on the list layout you can also increase that right let's jump back now let's start over here for our title color i'm going to go with this orange and then for topography I'm going to roboto and let's go for roboto condensed make it a little bit bigger like that and we're going to make it a little bit fatter as well and that's good that's more than I want for that. Nothing more. Let's do the same for our lists. For the title color, again, I'm going to put that into orange. Change my topography to Roboto. Condensed. Roboto condensed. Make it a little bigger than it currently is. And I'm also going to add that to a, a thicker weight. That's good enough. Divider. Shall we change the color of the divider? Why not? Let's see yellow. Yeah. Orange. Mm, okay. Reduced opacity. Okay. That looks better. And then finally for the read more, let's make this one a button. I'm going to make the color this darker one. The read more and then the button. Here's the button in case you don't know where I am. And then for our border radius, I'm going to put that around 6 and then for padding, unlink it. For the top, I'm going to add 10, 15, 10, 15. I think let's change the text color to white. Yes, that looks better. And then for hover, let's just also give it a little bit of a hover effect. Orange, and I reduce that so it can give us that effect. And you can add animation, pulse grow. Whee! Good. Right, let's have a look at how this looks on the front end. Update it and then preview the changes. Very nicely done. I like it. Even it drops in like that on my page. I really like it. Let's add just a little bit of padding space here. The only thing I would have liked is more control over the spacing between these various elements within the widget. Like if I could add more space here between my category and the button. I can do that with the line height, but it will also increase that line height between these two parts, which I don't want to do. But that would have been nice. Something that is probably easily can be added on to this widget in the future. Uh, just let's make this thing a little, look at a little bit better. Just going to add all round padding. Good. And let's update it again. Have a look at our final product. Is it something Mama would be proud of? Yes, Mama's proud of my good thing. Mm. And of course, then if we click on read more, it should take us to the article. Nicely done. Using Ocean WP here. And very, very nicely done. Okay, no changes to this at all. Good. Let's have a look just at a few things from the BD Themes, their website page. You can see more or less the same thing that we've done. And then we have the Genesis layout here, as well as another one called Skin Trinity. And these are the other two skins that I have mentioned at the very beginning. So if we click here now and we change the skin and we change it to Genesis, it will give us this very big image with the list below it. And the idea is that here you can choose the featured item in columns. So if I make it two, it will appear like this. And if I make it three, then this is what we get. And this is where I told you, if you are lazy like me, you're going to have an unbalanced display like this. 
you have to go in and change your featured image to have all the same ratios. And if you do that, it will display as nicely as these guys do. Then similar for the Trinity settings, again, you will have to go and play around with your ratio and resolutions if you want to have this kind of effect. Mine looks currently like this, which is just horrendous, right? I would not use it if, if it looked like this unless they gave me a masonry uh, opportunity or a masonry option in this one, which is not included in this widget, but it is in another widget. But just be aware of this, that if you are using this post block widget, I would say if you didn't care about the resolution ratios of your images, just keep it on the default and then do the one or the two that I had shown you earlier. And you have a beautiful display of a post lit grid list that you can add anywhere on any page on your website. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners. If this widget interested you and all the other hundreds that they have at BD Themes, go get the element pack. You can follow the link in the description below.